Hey, Malaya Spiritual Family. Hey, I'm excited about this new year. And as you know, we're starting back our live uh, sets this week with prayer and live worship. Really excited. I just feel a lot of momentum already in the house of prayer. I had a great service yesterday. But I wanted to just take some time just to invite us back into that Tuesday solemn assembly time of fasting and praying as a community. And I'm so grateful for all the fruit that the Lord gave us last year on that Tuesday, you know the stories, I've shared the testimonies, and as I was just contemplating the lifestyle of fasting, which is so important in the hour that we're living as a body, as a church, and I was just thinking fasting in the New Testament. You know, number one, Jesus went on a 40-day fast, and it launched him into his three-and-a-half-year ministry. Fasting is such a tool to launch us into our calling. I think of fasting being a tool in the book of Acts and even specifically Acts 13 where Paul was sent out from a community that was fasting and praying. Fasting initiates missions all over the earth. I was thinking Acts 23, fasting was used to appoint leaders in the body of Christ as the Bible says that the elders were, were called through the apostles, through the laying on of hands and fasting and praying. I'm also thinking of Cornelius, one of my favorite stories in the Bible, Acts chapter 10, where the Bible says that Cornelius, he gave in secret, he prayed in secret, and he even fasted. And an angel shows up and says that his life of fasting and prayer was a sweet incense before the Lord. And as you know, in Acts chapter 10, Cornelius' his entire family, his friends, and his relatives were baptized in the Holy Spirit, prayed in tongues, and were saved. Fasting is the amazing tool to have a breakthrough in our lost family members. And more than anything, the primary reason why we're doing this on Tuesdays is that we long for his return. And Jesus says that when he would leave, his disciples would fast. It's called the bridegroom fast. Is when we long for his return. We long for his physical presence to be with us. And so I want to invite our community to sign back up to this Tuesday. Take your watch. Take a day to fast and pray. It is so much easier when we do it as a community than when we do it by ourselves. And so I look forward to tomorrow a great expectancy. And let's believe together to see breakthroughs that only come through fasting and prayer. I believe that the Lord is going to release a move of the Spirit. He's going to birth souls in the kingdom. So I'm so grateful for you guys, and I look forward to, to doing it every Tuesday with you. Love you guys. God bless.